Cameron, Cameron. Look at you. Do you need help putting your coat on? All right, come over here and I'll help hold it. Oh, I wasn't looking at you, bud. After a long day of play, some well-earned relaxation was called for. And as you can see, little man was thoroughly relaxed. Who's a handsome guy? <laughs> you love that you love yourself so much. Who's that guy? Is you, is right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> so you. <laughs> Something we've been wanting to make for a while and then finally got to is candied jalapenos. A lot of people know it as cowboy candy, but we're not going to get into that whole name debacle that's apparently swept the internet over the last few years. Um, but it's super easy. It's just jalapenos, water and sugar, pretty much. <laughs> um, there are so many different recipes out there, but that's the basic ingredients, and then you can tweak it to make it your own. And it came out so good. The jalapenos were on sale at Walmart, so I grabbed six bags of them, chopped them up, and made some delicious and super spicy candied jalapenos. And there was so much sauce left over that I just reduced that down, turned it into a spicy syrup, and I have put it on so much since I made it. So Sunday, we were in the car for about five hours. We missed a feeding, he was sleeping. We didn't want to stop and wake him up. I knew I was starting to get engorged, starting to get a little painful. I was like, oh no. Um, but I was like, well, we're like a half hour from home. Let me just make it home and then I'll go ahead and feed him. And that's where we went wrong. So it turns out after having gone to the emergency room with a high fever and uncontrollable shaking because I had chills and just all over body pain and breastfeeding was the most excruciating thing I've ever felt worse than labor. I swear it was, I even told my husband, I was like, I just would rather go through labor again. And I had a really bad back labor with Junior. Um, so I was like, I just can't. I can't take this. If it's still bad tomorrow, we need to go to the emergency room. And my blood pressure had dropped drastically, like so much was going on. So we ended up um, being military before we go anywhere. We have what's called a nurse line. So called that, couldn't get an appointment in within you know the next however amount of time, it was like 24 hours, whatever. Um, so they had us go down to the emergency room and it turns out that I have mastitis, which is excruciatingly painful feeding. It's an infection inside the ducts. I've never had this before. I had a slightly clogged duct um, when one of my previous pregnancies, but it cleared up really quickly. I just made sure I was nursing first on that side. I was hydrating plenty and it cleared up on its own. But now little man over here, you eating your caterpillar? Um, he has been nursing on that side first and then moving to the other side, completely clearing everything out as well as he can. However, I'm also on antibiotics because it's pretty bad. And on top of all of that, for the last week, we've all had a real bad head cold. It's just like sinuses, nose running kind of head cold, really nothing else. No fever, no sore throat, little man. We've had to use the little booger sucker. It's back there on the couch, the little booger sucker thingy. 
Um, it's just been chaos. So I haven't really captured an awful lot this last week because we've been kind of down and out. We haven't gone and really done anything. It's kind of been just the same old, same old around the house, which I know you guys are like, that's fine. We just want to see your life. Um, yeah. And we still have no idea when we're going to be moving. We had word that it may not be until October until we get our orders. If we get them. So now we don't know if we're staying here, here in New York, moving to Boston. It's a little frustrating because we could have had a garden going all year and we put everything on hold. Just have those pots outside. Um, but we've been putting everything on hold because we wanted to be able to put grass seed down in those spots that, if you remember, we had the trellis with the tomatoes and the peas and the beans and all the things. Um, and we had to dismantle all of that because we thought we were gonna be moving. We thought we were getting orders any day. And then now things are behind. It, it is what it is. The military has their priorities and we are at will. Um, so it's just one of those things when they need us to move, we'll move. This is a little frustrating in the meantime. So yeah, that is kind of the new developments that's been going on. I'm just sore. <laughs> <laughs> sore and tired. I feel like I've been run over by a truck and I think it's just gonna take longer. So yesterday morning was when I was at the emergency room. Well, my husband went back to work today and he is going to be taking some time off later this week and into next week um, to take care of like me for one thing um, or help take care of me and the kids. I have been getting lightheaded when I stand up and all of those those things so hi are you saying hi good morning <laughs> I know we are sitting down on the computer I am watching um, Netflix I watch I YouTube channel Amen and back they are amazing I've been watching them for years they used to live on the road in a van and now they have um, like a cabin and they're redoing things so I'm sitting down watching that and he's waiting for me to push play again but I paused it so that way I could say hi to you guys hi hold on, hold on. I'm gonna pick him up you guys say good morning he's here I love it so mad. good morning <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's so happy I love you. <laughs> what, are you trying to stand up? You can't quite stand yet. He started crawling though, guys. He started crawling. It's unbelievable. I'll drop some footage I have right here of his first little bit crawling, but he's gotten so much better. And this was just a couple days ago. So let me go ahead and drop that for you guys. Yeah. And we're gonna get back to watching Eamon and Beck finishing the last 20 minutes of their episode, their vlog. And um, yeah, yeah. And then I'm gonna get some stuff picked up. It's kind of a mess in here. It's like dirty tissues and stuff everywhere. <laughs> huh. We gotta clean up our mess. And luckily the trash can is literally like 10 feet away. So I'll get up, throw that away and sit back down before I start getting lightheaded again. My blood pressure was like 74, no 79 over 44. Like that is drastically low. So basically I'm just trying not to get lightheaded. And a lot of that's just because my body is being so thrown off with the infection right now. Um, and like the fever and just all of the things, I'm generally just unwell. And apparently the blood pressure is a result of some of that. Um, from what they're saying at the emergency room, they're not highly concerned. It was a little bit more back to normal um, when I got there and it's been more normal than um, what it had been before I went to the emergency room. That's why I called the nurse line and decided to go to the emergency room. When my blood pressure dropped that low, I was nervous. Um, I wasn't scared. I was, I was aware that my body was reacting in some way to something. Um, I just didn't know what. What? What? Why are you fighting? Oh, he's hitting me. My chest <laughs> hurts. So, all right. I'm. He's trying to hit stop, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop for now. Like I said, I'll, I'll show you him crawling, and I will be back, be back to you guys in just a few minutes. What you doing? 
Oh, he spotted the cat. Oh, man. Oh, he's kicking his legs. Come on, you know how to crawl. You gonna go get him? You gonna go get him? Yeah. What was that? Hey. <laughs> Do you, need, do you need motivation? Oh, so you'll crawl when I give you something to crawl after, huh? You gonna come get it? Oh, now you're crawling! I, I don't know why they're upside down. I'm going to go jump upside down with them, okay? What are these guys? Let's go! Something we're super excited to have is this new mat. We have gone couch free again. And instead, we have opted to have this play mat. And as I'm editing this right now, doing this voiceover, if you hear the kids playing in the background, they are on that mat right now, all three of them having tons of fun. And I think it was the best swap. We were looking at replacing the couches that we had secondhand from somebody. And I think this was the best decision we ever could have made.